Two important things you need to make sure to monitor in College Football 25 is your wear and tear and your composure. This video is sponsored by EA Sports and I'm going to break down both wear and tear and composure and show you how they work in this game. Let's start with composure. To check this at the beginning of the game, you want to press the left trigger or L2 button and also hold up on the right stick. And as you can see, our entire team is ice cold. They're all blue. Our QB even has a snowflake icon underneath him, meaning he couldn't be more cold. That's because we're on the road in a tough place to play. So that's how they're going to start out the game. Now we want to try to do some easy, simple things to get us some yards because what we want to really do is score a touchdown because that can lift the composure of the entire team. So we're going to do some stuff like options and jet sweeps and some screens, try to do easy things, get the ball out quick, move down the field. And if we can score a touchdown, we can change things around for our team. Cause the problem here is if we stay cold, it's going to affect our ratings a little bit. It's going to affect how we play. Now this is tied to player archetypes. So a scrambling QB, you know, if he's more composed, he'll have better ball security. Whereas a field general, if he's more composed, he'll have better accuracy. And this goes down the line for all positions. So the way you get your composure better is for individual players, positive plays. So you can see our running back's composure. He's a lot less blue than everybody else right now because he's been making all the plays. He's been catching the option. He's been getting some good runs. He's making some stuff happen. So his individual composure is going up. But if we can score a touchdown as a team, that's going to help raise the entire team's composure because it's just going to kind of boost the morale of everybody. And here you see, we're going to punch it into the end zone. Now here you can see at the start of the very next drive, most of our players are in the red. They're starting to heat up. They're starting to cook. And that's what we want. And you'll notice later in the drive, there's a flame icon underneath our running back, meaning he's as hot as he can possibly be. And that's where you want to be. You want to stay in the red because it's going to help your players perform better. Now there's also abilities that can play into this as well. There's a road dog ability, which makes a player less likely to lose composure on the road. And there's a fan favorite ability that helps a player gain composure and heat up quicker on the road. As you can see, we're starting to cook, we're scoring again, and our whole team is going to play better now. But keep in mind, you can lose composure at any time. You start playing bad, taking sacks, throwing picks, three and outs, and that composure can flip in an instant. Now let's take a look at another example here with Texas. Now we're playing against the same team in the same stadium. Everybody's cold, but notice that Quinn Ewers starts the game right in the middle. That's because he's a higher rated player. So this can be affected by if you're a freshman versus a veteran, younger players are going to have less composure than the veterans. Higher rated players are going to have more composure than a mid rated player. So all that plays into this. And basically what you just want to do at all costs is make positive plays, be smart with the ball and you want to build up your composure because the higher your composure is the higher every individual player is going to play on your team and on the flip side if you're building up your composure and you're getting hot that means the other team is losing composure at the same time. Now, notice after we score a touchdown, Quinn Ewers has a flame underneath him now. That means he's already maxed out because all he had to do was score one touchdown because he started more composed than the other players. But again, right here, you're going to see he takes a sack, held the ball too long. And now on the next play, you could see he doesn't have the flame no more. He's still hot. He's still good, but he took a little bit of a hit because he made a mistake. So you have to pay attention to all these things. It changes on a play to play basis and you want to monitor it very closely. Closely. Now let's talk about wear and tear. You can view this by holding the left trigger or the L2 button and also holding down on the right stick. You'll notice our offense is all good right now because the game has just started. And also for our QB, you'll notice his wear and tear. He's the most important position. On his left side, he's got five green bars. As he starts to take hits, those bars will go down. Now we got the speedster here from Vanderbilt. So we're going to try to run around with him and we're going to be a little reckless. Now we just took a sack in the pocket. That's not good. We don't want to take a lot of sacks. We don't want to take a lot of hits. We want to slide. We want to get out of bounds but we're going to play reckless. He's fast. He's fun to use, but we're not going to slide. We're not going to go out of bounds. We're going to get tackled. We're going to take hits and we're just going to play a little bit crazy to show you what can happen if you're not monitoring this. Now, again, look how fast this guy is. You can make some crazy plays, but you also want to protect him so that you can use him all game. You want to slide. You want to go out of bounds. You don't want to take unnecessary hits right here. He gets hit. He fumbles the ball. That happens, but we're just trying to pile up the hits on him so that we can show you what happens very quickly if you do this. And this also applies on both sides of the ball for every player. The more they get hit, the more they're affected. But your QB is going to be the most important position because he's going to get hit a lot. Because even if you're completing a pass, for example, he can be getting hit in the pocket as he gets rid of the ball that still counts towards his wear and tear. If you're running the option with him, he can get hit as he's pitching it to the running back. That still counts against his wear and tear. And here again, you see, we're just letting him pile up 
And now we're going to go to our depth chart. And you can see he's already starting to take a little wear and tear. It's nothing major. He's taking a few attribute hits right here. And we can toggle the right stick over in his player card. You can see his risk of injury is low on his shoulder. But it's something we need to start monitoring. Because if we keep taking hits, this is going to end very bad. Also, your toughness rating does play into this. If you have a higher toughness rating, you have a little bit better wear and tear. You're going to hold up a little bit longer. But even still, you don't want to take unnecessary hits with people. So here we are. We're just going to keep letting them pile up until we see what happens right there that's a massive hit we don't want to let that happen we're going to get hit here in the pocket and just like that now he's injured just because he got injured doesn't mean that it was wear and tear right you could just get a fluke injury but now you can see because of that he's fully red his rib is really messed up he took a bad hit we're going to the depth chart and now you can see he's taking some really big hits to his attributes now and if we toggle over that right stick we can see that we've got severe in the chest and rib area his arms are messed up he is taking a lot of attribute hits now so now we make the choice do we want to sit him do we want to let him like replenish do we not want to play him for the rest of the game or if we're going to play him now we got to keep the ball you know getting out of his hands quick we can't let him take hits so we're running jet sweeps we're going to run the ball with the running back a little bit more we're going to do stuff like screens very quick passes we do not want to take a hit because the next hit could be the last one and he could go out for a while so now we have to be very smart with how we use them now your wear and tear also will replenish during the game like after timeouts at the end of quarters at the end of half that's when you're going to get your biggest wear and tear replenishing but if you've already taken a ton of hits you still could be at risk of injury notice now we're sliding because we don't want to get him messed up also keep in mind there are abilities that can help with wear and tear like running backs for example some of them have a workhorse ability if they're a workhorse type back which means they can withstand more hits and their wear and tear won't break down so easily but the most important thing you really just need to know about the feature is don't try to make the big highlight play every time especially with your QB make sure you slide make sure you get down make sure you get out of bounds you're going to take hits with the other players at times but know when to sub a guy out give him a breather know when to take a timeout, and know when to take it easy on a guy for a few plays if you want him to make it through the whole game without getting too banged up